So we are here, QuickBooks 2013. This is our second video in company setup, and we will specifically cover chart of accounts, which is what you see over here in this company tab under home. If you don't have this display, simply go to list, chart of accounts, it all works the same. So I'm gonna click chart of accounts. We're gonna set up a few things. First thing we're gonna tackle is my bank. Now, you will see over here an amount already. I'm going to double click this to look at the history. We only have one transaction and it was the opening balance equity, which is what we did in video one. So no worries. The first thing I want to do to my bank is add my actual accounts from my bank, such as my checking and savings. I can right click, I can do new bank continue let me take that back one more time I right clicked or you can go down over here to where it says account new same thing bank continue we will call it checking and we'll make it a sub account of my bank now of course my bank is usually Wells Fargo Bank of America Chase etc I'm calling it my bank just to be general description main checking business account bank account number five 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 dash one routing here we go enter opening balance we could do that as well and the statement ending balance was thirteen thousand o two five five o statement ending date we will make this December 31st of 2011 that way we are pretending we're starting this clean in January I'm gonna hit OK and I'm gonna hit save a new hit yes and I'm actually gonna hit cancel for right now so you can see what it did it put the 13025 under my bank and as you can see it brought up it from 15,000 to 28 and I actually want to fix that because that 15,000 originally was supposed to be sp spread out between checking and savings. So first I'm going to finish setting it up. I'm going to hit new again, go to bank, continue, savings, sub account, my bank, and this will be description, main savings account for business, bank account number, rounding number whatever that was entering opening balance I will make it 2000 to make it even with the 15025 same thing 12 31 2011 hit OK I'm gonna hit save and close I'm gonna hit yes set up online services I'm not gonna do that right now so you'll get a lot of these pop-ups yes they could be annoying but yes they could be friendly as well uh, because they can kind of give you advice on what else you could do to better your experience with QuickBooks. Last thing we're going to do with my bank is fix the balance over here. Uh, this is actually where we're going to do a general journal entry where I right click. This is something we will be teaching more in depth in future videos. So you guys actually get to see a little sneak preview of it. You guys are probably not ready for it, uh, but you still get to see it right now. So make general journal entries 1231 I'm gonna pick my bank I'm gonna credit that 1502550 you can put a memo over here it's that opening balance I'm gonna hit save a new hit yes and I will close this out and now you will see that your checking plus your savings equals my bank which makes a little bit more sense so we are basically done uh, with my bank and uh, this is good enough as far as chart of accounts on that of course if you have more banks feel free to enter more banks but this is good enough we're now going to move on to credit cards for credit cards it's pretty much the same process you go to account you hit new you select credit card continue account name this could be my we can call it Amex it's fine ending in 7950 main American Express account
account for a company. Credit card number could be whatever it is. Enter opening balance. We could do that. So we'll say that you owe this much. Back on 12-31-2011, hit OK. Save and close, hit yes. I'm gonna hit no for online again. Then you have your Amex over here. Has your balance as of 12-31-2011. And usually with credit cards, it's not gonna even be 12-31-2011. So I'm actually gonna take that back. Most credit cards end anywhere in the middle of the month. So for that starting balance, make sure you do the actual date of the statement and not necessarily 1231. Of course, what I'm showing you, these are all hypothetical examples. And then if we scroll down a little bit, you'll see income. If you are happy with leaving it general as far as sales, you could do that. Or we could go ahead and do new income. We are going to do products, sub account, sales, fine hit save a new the other one will be service sub account under sales as well save and close and now we just get to separate products and services just a little bit more so uh, I would definitely suggest that if you have those two kind of environments and uh, the more detailed you get in the beginning it just really means uh, the more detailed report you're gonna get so if you really, really care about numbers and knowing how your business is doing, the more detailed you are in the chart of accounts, the more different types of reporting you can pull, and it gives you your numbers exactly. And last but not least are expenses. Uh, it already has a lot of the standard expenses. By all means, feel free to look at it. Uh, one thing about expenses is you can always add them on the fly. So don't worry about so much like I got to think of every single expense right now. But do, do take the time and remember you can always add it on the fly. This pretty much covers this video for setting up chart of accounts. We will have another video for uh, setting up our company profile, uh, which are basically our custom forms coming up in the next video. Look for it.